Hello and welcome to a new video about digital technology. We're talking about flip-flops. Last time we talked about the JK flip-flop. Today we are talking about the D flip-flop or the lay flip-flop or data storing flip-flop. Blah, 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 blah. Huh? So has a lot of names. I show you how it is working. Base is again the RS flip-flop. So we have somewhere this RS element inside. R, S, Q, not Q. All right. And we have again the same. Here's the C. We have again the same blocking mechanism for the feedback. Okay. We have again two ends, two end elements, which are blocking the feedback. One here, one here. These are the ends, and these are fed into oh, S, of course, and R. Can you read this? <laughs> S and R, of course. Hey. Uh, whoop. This way, this way, this way. Yeah. And of course here, this way, this way, this way. All right. So we have here Q and not Q. And now we have a D line and this D line is going in here and is also going down here, but not like a T, like this toggle flip flop, but here with not. Yeah. Right, so here we have we have here the D line, data line. It's also called why it's data line. We will just see. Let's imagine we are starting again in this situation. So it's not set. It's not set, and D is also zero. Let's see, D is zero, and it will stay zero. If this is zero, and this, if this is zero, we have here a one. Yeah, here is zero, so this one from here doesn't come through. Yeah, so it will simply there will nothing will happen. <coughs> nothing will happen. Then, then we change to one here, yeah, and see what is happening here. Yeah. At this rising edge, at this rising edge, nothing much happened. Okay, nothing. Simply because this is blocked, here we would have one, this was blocked, and if we would have one, but here's zero. And now it's vice versa. Here is one, and now this is also one. Now the S input is energized, yeah, is set, and book, we are switching. Zack. Alrighty. This data at D is stored. Right? This data at D is stored. What is happening? at the next rising edge. D is still one. This Q is not one. Yeah, here we are not one. Yeah, we are zero. So there will not be a S, there will not be an R because D is one and this is not. So it will stay the same. So as long D is here, we will stay the same. Yeah? And then at one point in time, D will disappear. All right, D will disappear. Here it's also the same. And here, let's see, it's not D. So this does not matter, we have zero and zero. Here we have one, one, and R is set. So, book, we will lose this. Huh? We will lose this. And what is happening if D is only on for a very short time. Like that. Huh? Two possibilities. Let's see. Here, the rising, the, the, the rising trigger, this is always the trigger event. We don't see this peak. The memory does not see this peak. Huh? Because it's it's too short. Yeah? However, if it comes to another at another 
point in time, here we will switch. All right, because here D is one, this is one set back. Yeah, for how long? Until here, because then we are back, back to reset here. All right. This is why it's called also delay, because simply the D input is delayed until the next clock cycle. Okay, this is a D flip flop. This is how it is working. Of course, we have again also a symbol, uh, and the symbol is following is following the rules. How every other, how every other was also produced. So we have this. Uh, we have the clock input here somewhere. And the data line. D, C, Q, not Q. All right. That's how it looks like. D flip flip. Yeah. There's one flip-flop more to go, but there is not a new function. And here's a new function, but it's all a combination of two flip-flops. Yeah? It's a master-slave flip-flop. Why it is used and how it's looking, we'll explain, we'll explore in the next video. Yeah? For this time, thank you very much for listening. Goodbye.